Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. Actually, I had to think about that for a minute. <sighs> the conversation between Thomas and Hulk was absolutely pointless because my whole thing is I look at it this way. When she says she was shocked by what Thomas said at first, like she was really like um, triggered or whatever, it was like it didn't really mean anything because, you know, at the end of the episode, you still want to get your rocks off of him. Let's just sit there and look at it this way. Thomas may not have actually pushed her car off the road, okay? But he did run her off the road in a sense of going after her, in a sense that where she felt like her life was in danger, you know? It's the same thing if I'm chasing somebody and they run into the street and they get hit by a car. That's on me, okay? Because I was the one that was chasing him. There's no difference between that scenario and what Thomas went up doing. And she still let that go. Okay? She still let that go because at the end of the day, it's about her getting her rocks off. It's about her being an emotional and physical succubus. That is the bottom line of that whole conversation that they wound up having. And towards the end, they just wound up having love in the afternoon. So it, it just, yeah. I, I just, when she said that, she was like, well, you know, you changed, you did this, and you did that. He ran somebody off the road. How do you just let that go? Oh, wait, you got to get your rocks off. Never mind. I, I know that Charlie is supposed to be some sort of lighthearted, goofy comedy thing that goes on. But every time that he shows up, it's like me. Okay. Um, you know, RJ told Charlie that, you know, he's going to be at the beach house. And when Zende came into the room with Brooke and Rich, um, Charlie was able to sit there and tell him like, Hey, listen, he's not going to be there. He's going to be at the new beach house. Cause he wanted to show him some designs. Brooke and Rich have a disagreement about, Thomas and Hope's engagement, you know, Brooke is being all Karen like RJ, I mean, Red just not there being hopeful. Um, it doesn't get contentious, surprisingly, because, you know, I'm like, these are, this isn't like a little, well, which, which, which way should we paint the room? Should we, should we paint it yellow or should we just keep it dark blue? It's not something like that. She's concerned for her daughter in her mental and physical well-being. And Ridge, you know, he kind of should be looking at this like, you, you constantly are downplaying my son. You constantly are bashing my son. I should be pissed off. But it's it's very minor and, 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 and somewhat trivial when they have these conversations because it never really gets heated in the way that it should be. Um... RJ, well, I mean, Zenday came in there and he was like, oh, you got a, you got a beach house. Hmm. These guys are doing pretty well. And I'm just like, what, what, which, uh, which flavor of haterade did you sit there when I'm drinking today, Zenday? Which, which, which flavor did I, I'm very curious. And it was just spewing to the point where it, it's like if you couldn't sit there and detect how much he kind of detests of the position that RJ is in, you're a clueless moron. So everyone in that room felt that. And, you know, Ridge is like, I'm not going to sit there and get in the middle of it. It's just a little rivalry. It's nothing, you know, as long as it doesn't get out of hand, it's fine. And I'm like, you should probably just put a shutdown to it right now. But I mean, in all reality, how? Because in a lot of ways, Zendi is right. And all Brooke says is, yeah, you know, he's doing really well. He was a talented social media person. And now he's a rising star. And it's it's just one of those things where it's like, y'all sit there acting like Zendi didn't sit there and put in his work and his time. But all Brooke is sitting there talking to her husband, Rich, about is how great and amazing RJ is. I mean, if that's not nepotism, I don't know what the hell is. Now, RJ and um, Luna are about to sit there and have their love in the afternoon. They get a knock on the door from Zenday. Luna's dumbass is like, oh, maybe if we just ignore it, he'll go away. 
if, if we just continue, then he'll just sit there and stop. I'm just like, wow, you two are a bunch of idiots. Um, well, on top of the fact she says she was just going to drop it. She's like, oh, you know what, listen, uh, my mom's going to sit there and get upset about it, so I'm just going to drop it. I'm just like, what if your dad is not there looking for answers, too? No, I, I guess that doesn't really matter. Sure, whatever, idiot. Um, but eventually they stop. Zendi comes in there, and Zendi is like, I got some designs to show you. And RJ is like, you know, this is not really a good time. I'm kind of busy right now. It's like, you're not busy doing anything. This is work stuff. You can, you know, this beach house is still going to be here. She's still going to be here. You tell me you can't sit there and take five minutes out of your so-called busy schedule to take a look at it, to take a look at the designs. I'm like, this is work stuff. This is, this is important. It's not I'm saying that's not important, but this is important right now. But of course, oh, I don't really have time. I mean, I'll, I'll do it when I, when I get around to it. That's, that's a level of arrogance. It's like, you didn't even really earn your way to this top spot in this company, and now he's not kind of shrugging off work like, uh, I get to it when I'm, when I'm getting ready, you know? Um, so, you know, Zendi is like, ah, oh, I see you, uh, doing really well for yourself. You got this nice beach house and everything. Yeah, right, uh, this is, uh, this is pretty nice. I mean, it's pretty expensive, but, I mean, you're the golden child, so, I mean, I mean, you're the anointed one, whatever I want to sit there and call you. And... You know, RJ is like, well, you know, you can afford this place. I don't know. It's kind of out of my budget. Is it really out of your budget, though? I mean, this whole family is rich. It's, it's not out of your budget. But I, I guess what he was simply trying to say. But, of course, he just makes the whole room and everything like that super, you know, it's just like it's very tenacious, you know. Um, it's, it's written right over... Luna's face and RJ is just kind of annoyed at the whole situation. Like, maybe if you take time out of what you're doing, take a look at the designs, talk about it for a little bit, and send him on his way, it'll be a lot better than you sitting there looking all pissy and stuff. Like, ah, oh, I gotta sit there and get back to that. Like, that's not gonna sit there and be there. Like, it, it's so dumb. It's so, so dumb. Um,. I feel like that's about it. I can't think of anything else. But as always, sit there and say, come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows, Born and Beautiful, Young and Restless, Days of Our Lives, and General Hospital. I am doing my best. I actually, tell you the truth, I, I sit there and say I'm doing one of my best. Last year, it was a lot of drama in the live stream. It was my first year, but I let things go through the... I, I let things... Not even slip through the cracks. I just kind of let it happen. And I did not shut Ish down when it was supposed to be. But it's been a lot better so far this year. I've been a lot more on top of it. I've been, I don't want to say more stricter, but I don't let things go like I used to, you know? And, you know, granted, a lot of, some of that drama was actually me. But I've, I've learned a lot last year. I learned what not to do. And... The live streams have actually been a lot of fun, been chill, fun conversations, and uh, we've just been having a good time. So, if I miss anything, come to the live stream tonight. I'll be doing it 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, and we'll, we'll discuss it all, whatever I missed, or whatever you want to sit there and talk about. All right.